So, uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to make this wreath charm. Um, and I think this is so cute. And um, actually, my sister designed this little wreath charm. And I think it's so cute. Actually, pretty easy. It does not involve this that new rubber band. That new rubber band. As you can see, these are really, really, really tiny. But it actually isn't that bad. <laughs> um, I think they're really, really cute. Uh, so let's get on with the video. And so for the middle, it makes it so much easier to make a white band and it won't be showing. So, yeah. So you're going to waste your middle color just as a thing. You're just gonna cap band it around. And as you can see, you can't see it, but um, I actually did make, I made this one just black in the middle and you can kind of see that, but you're not gonna be able to see it. So I just recommend doing white or and that will stand out with your colors to go back into it. But, anyway, I'm going to be making a, just a green, red and green wreath. wreath. So what you can do is you're going to put it onto your hook and slide it through. And you're just doing a regular single chain stitch. Like that. But now, what you can do, you can go, and this is an interesting process, but you can go back into your cat band, and then you have four rings on your hook. So you're going to grab another, your next color. Actually, never mind. I'm just going to make an old-fashioned, just a regular green ring. But, um, yeah. So now, oh no! Seven stitch, so I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> and go back into it. Okay, so I did that super quickly um, for you guys. So now you're just gonna go onto your hook, pull through there. Four stitches. Go back onto your hook and go back into your cat band. And you're going to keep doing this, so. going to pull another green through, back around, and back into your cap band. And you can kind of see it forming just right there, kind of, not really, though. Oh, um, but. And you're just going to keep doing this, so pull through the four rings, on, back, in, pull through. And this is a different colored green, but whatever, I'm just going to be like, you know, kind of, oh, all these different greens in the ring. And I may or may not add a red here and there just for a ha, like it's a holly and then some berries on it. And I'm pulling through those. Back in, I will add a red, I think. Just a red I'm adding in. Just a random red. And back on a next color. Green. I'm going to keep doing this. And I will show you mine forming here. It's forming all right. It's just forming right there. You can make yours as big as you want. I'm going to turn off camera. I actually will not take that long to do this. I'm just going to turn off camera while I finish doing mine. So, be right back. Alright, so I am back. And this is what mine looks like. Now, I did make this one 
little bit small. But in the last stitch, she should have only two left. Um, so you're, uh, once you're done, you're just going to not put it back into the cat band. And now you're just pulling one end through the other. Pulling it tight. And that's going to form knot. Slip knot to be exact. And there you have your wreath that you can hang up, but you can also hide this if you want this to be a little circle. You can hide that band if you want it to be a circle. Uh, but it's if you just want it to be one of those wreaths where it doesn't have that holding thing, but I think it's cute with the holding thing. So yeah, and. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe, comment, like. I'm in a really funky angle. But goodbye before I get too crazy. So have a good day, and remember, thumbs it up.